Good evening. My name is Carl Jones, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Grand Forks, here to give you a briefing on the upcoming winter storm. I'd like to start off by talking about the main forecast changes since our last weather briefing. While the forecast has largely unchanged, our confidence in snow placement and amounts is somewhat higher. This increase in confidence has allowed us to issue a winter weather advisory for portions of southeastern North Dakota through the Red River Valley and into northwestern Minnesota. This winter weather advisory is valid from 1 a.m. Wednesday to 1 a.m. on Thursday. An early season winter storm is expected to impact the area, bringing accumulating snow of 6 inches or more and gusty winds up to 25 to 40 miles per hour. The areas impacted include eastern North Dakota into northwestern Minnesota. We are expecting snow to begin after midnight, lasting through the entire day of Wednesday and ending from west to east late Wednesday into Thursday morning. Impacts to be expected include heavy snow, reductions in visibility, downed tree branches, possible power outages, and hazardous travel. As of 6 p.m. on Tuesday afternoon, this is what the radar looks like. Rain is beginning to move into the region from the south, marking the beginning of our storm. As rain changes to snow late tonight, snowfall accumulations around the area could look something like this. Areas in northeastern North Dakota, including the Devil's Lake Basin, will see light amounts, as well as areas towards west central Minnesota, where rain may linger through the majority of this event. In between these locations, a widespread 3 to 6 inches of heavy wet snow is expected, and with the banding potential that will accompany this storm, we could see higher amounts up to 8 inches of snow. Our current thinking for best potential of reaching these amounts reside within northwestern Minnesota. Here is a look at maximum wind gusts throughout the region. Much of the region will see gusty winds with 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts in eastern North Dakota and 25 to 35 mile per hour wind gusts for northwestern Minnesota. This could worsen visibility while snow is falling. However, this isn't your typical blowing snow event as the wet, heavy nature of the snow makes it a little more difficult to blow around. As mentioned before, our confidence levels have increased somewhat for snow amounts and placement, but there still is some uncertainty where heaviest amounts of snow will fall underneath localized heavy snow bands. These snow amounts combined with the wind and the timing of the event also increases our confidence that this storm should bring impacts to the region. While potential impacts include heavy snow and reduced visibility, the nature of the snow expected could stick to the foliage on trees that still remain as this is an early season winter storm. This weight on the trees could bring down tree limbs and thus could fall on power lines, bringing possible power outages. And as with most winter storms, you can expect some hazardous travel conditions, especially towards late afternoon Wednesday into the evening. So with these impacts in mind, prepare for downed tree limbs, which could cause power outages, as well as allowing yourself extra time for the morning and evening commutes on Wednesday, as travel may be impacted. With hazardous travel possible, you should consider putting a winter survival kit inside your vehicle and use caution while driving, especially in poor visibility. As the event draws near, the forecast may change, and you should check trusted sources of information often. You can visit the National Weather Service Grand Forks social media pages, as well as our homepage at weather.gov forward slash FGF. Again, we are expecting an early season winter storm to impact the area, bringing accumulating snow and gusty winds to eastern North Dakota and northwestern Minnesota. This will occur after midnight tonight, lasting through the day on Wednesday and ending late Wednesday into Thursday morning. Impacts include heavy snow, reductions in visibility, downed tree branches, possible power outages, and hazardous travel. I'm meteorologist Carl Jones with the National Weather Service in Grand Forks, and thank you for watching.